Ashi and Baba Yaga. Jack Dad sat up in bed reading the newspaper. He had a cold, and his tissue box was nearly empty. Beach house for sale. Dad read aloud. How would you like to move to a house near the beach, Jack? He blew his nose. Just imagine an early morning swim, watching the sun rise over the sea. Look at this one. A nice little wooden house with plenty of personality. Looks as Big as a beehive to me," said Jack. "Anyway, I like it here near all my friends. Besides, Jack narrowed his eye and tapped the side of his no- nose slyly. You've got to be careful about exploring new houses." You never know what you may find inside. Dad put down his paper. Really, he smoothed a place on the bed for Jack to come and sit down. He rubbed his hand together. Together, yes, he could. Definitely, feel a story coming on one of Jack's tashi stories. No doubt, soon young Tashi had moved into the neighborhood and become best friends with Jack. They had some amazing adventures. I suppose your friend Tashi knows all about new houses," said Dad. "Yes, when he was back in the old country, a new house did arrive in his village one day." Arrive," repeated Dad, puzzled. "How could a house arrive? No, wait a second, Mom." Mom called it Dad. Mom, come and listen to a story. He grinned. At Jack, she'd be so cross if she missed out. Mum, painting into the room, her arms full of dirty washing, she plonked it on the floor and curled up next to Dad. Wacko! She cried. She glanced scornfully at the washing. That can wait. So, what's it all about? Well, it was like this. Jack began, and he shivered as he remembered Tasha's words. Of last night, Baba Yaga blew it to Tashi's village on the wind of a terrible storm. Baba Yaga, who is that? Coughed Dad. Someone looking for a new house. Pay attention, and you find. Out," said Jack. 
And don't press on me, said Mum. Well, one night when Tashi was quiet, small, stinging rain lashed the village and winds, wild winds blew, washing off the line and chickens out of their nests. Branch were torn from the tree and whole house were whisked mile away. The next morning when Tashi walked along the road she saw people scurrying scurrying about trying to find lost belongings that had been scattered far and wide. She offered to help and going further and further from the village. She found cooking pots and slippers high up in the tree because he was looking up he almost stepped on a raven that was pinned under a fallen branch tashi gently lifted the bird from the leaves and twigs and placed it on a grassy mound the bird was very weak and thirsty, so Tashi gave it a drink of water from his bottle. Thank you, said the raven. You have been my friend. May one day I will be able to help you.